see that I am on here. Um, great, I am. I am, I am, I am. All right, hello everybody. Um, I hope that um, you can see me. And um, I have here my Slimline Bay window card here for you. And um, I did both of these tone on tone. And um, I want to, for today, we're not gonna do tone on tone. We're gonna use the Knight of Navy for the snowmen and the uh, trees and the uh, snowflake. Um, and this was the uh, Seaside Spray and used everything in Seaside Spray and worked real well. Um, here we used Pool Party and um, for everything. And just to show you a color that works real well with this, instead if you don't want tone on tone, which I think is a really nice effect, is the, um, is the Pretty Peacock. And so the Pretty Peacock goes really well with this set, as you can see, if you want to use the Pool Party. And then you'll see today how the um, Knight of Navy works. All right. So um, the uh, Slimline uh, Bay Window card works pretty much like this. You have a little stop here and the windows come out. And you can see here it opens up and right in the center, you will see your note and your DSP here with your um, sentiment um, here and here a little sentiment. So that is that one. This one is a little bit different. And this one I did with a white on white. You can see my measurements right here. We'll go over those in a second. And so there you go with that one. All right. So now um, next is the sets that were used. As soon as I saw the sets, I fell in love with them. It's the Snowflake Wishes and the Snow Wonder. And the dyes are so many snowflakes and so uh, snow time dyes. And uh, I marked here the um, stamps and actual um, die cuts that I used. And so this would be that one. And then for the uh, sentiment here on the side, I used this one right here. Um, then for this card that has the white base, I used these little guys. And then um, I used for the backing um, on the actual cardstock, I used this one. I did use, um, I believe I used May Your Season Sparkle and Thank You Snow Much. Those are my uh, sentiments. And this one was Our Friendship is One of a Kind. But um, so those were the stamp, those are the stamp sets and the stamps on the Snow Wonder. Of course, it's the tree and the snowman. That was it. So this was quite used quite a bit. As far as the dyes are concerned, the dyes are, of course, this gorgeous die um, that cuts out um, um, the, the outside. So it's like it doesn't cut it, it cuts the outside of the paper. And then this is my stop, and that all comes from the snowflakes. And then I'm gonna show you how I emboss with these borders from the snowflake dies. This is the actual cutout snowflake. And then these represent this, this, this one, this die represents these snowflakes that are actually throughout the um, card. And you can see those. Um, you can use a stamp with this. Um, I'll show you because you can see it here better. Uh, one of the stamps that you can use here is that one. Uh, it doesn't come out perfectly, and it actually is this stamp right here, and then you can die cut it out with that die cut. It's not perfect, uh, but if you like it, you can use it that way. All right, so those are the dies that I used from the snowflake ones. And then, of course, 
This 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 one has is full of dyes. <laughs> we have tons of dyes. And then here are your two from the snowman uh, dyes. All right, those two. And so um, we can now that you see the dyes and the sets. Let's go ahead and talk about the um, dimensions for our card. I'm going to move this away and move this away so you can see that. Now, this is not uh, minimalistic on the cardstock, okay? This does use uh, pretty much a full sheet, and you're not left with much afterwards. Basically, all you're left with is a strip and then two strips like this, which you can do. You can obviously die cut your snowflakes out and one of uh, the trees because you only need part of it, as you'll see. So that's how that is. So that uses pretty much your entire sheet of paper. All right, so let's go ahead and go through this. So you need two pieces of your cardstock and I am going to use the Seaside Spray and they are nine and a quarter by four. And then you are going to go ahead and score it to make that bay window. You are going to score it to make that bay window. I'm gonna make sure I'm in here. Maybe that light is not so good. I just noticed that. Oh no, it's all right, it's all right. So anyway, so here you have this. That's your bay window, sorry. And um, and then this piece. Now you're going to score this at eight and three quarters, at six, three and a quarter, and a half. All right. And when I do my scoring, when I actually do my scoring, I start with the eight and three quarters. I find that to be easier. So I go from eight and three quarters. So that'll give me that half inch to begin with because it was nine and a quarter. And then I'll go to my um, six and then I'll go through. At the end, I have still my last half and I'll just turn it around and score it at the half. That's how I do those. I actually like going backwards. I find it easier. So eight and three quarters, six, three and a quarter and a half is how your window is actually going to be scored. All right. Then once that's done, um, now I have two uh, different ways of doing this. Um, with this one, I did use um, a white frame and today I won't, and I didn't in this one. I actually prefer it without the frame. I think it looks more natural for me. And so um, with that white frame, it's two and a half by three and three quarters. You need three of those. The DSP pieces, whether you have the white, the whisper white trim or not, you can keep it at two and a quarter by three and a half if you like. And then um, the inner DSP, which is this one right here, is going to be five and a half by three and a quarters. You can take it up to three and a half if you like. It depends on what your preference is, okay? And then your stop overall should be three by one and a half wide. Um, that makes it easier. A lot of people use um, circle punches for that. There's all kinds of things, but basically you want to make sure that that stop is three by one and a half. That stop is very important for your card. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and um, look at this. Let's look at the other pieces. So this was the die cut piece. This is our die cut piece. This is the way it's going to go, I believe. Yes, this way. That's that inner DSP piece at five and a half and three and quarters. And then this is my stop, which is at three and one and a half. And then the DSP pieces are right here. One, two, and three DSP pieces. These are gonna go at the end. And I'm going to show you how to do this embossing. I was quite pleased with the outcome. Finally, it looks really good and is fairly easy, especially if you have a magnetic plate, it's even easier. I don't, but it works without a magnetic plate. And then that inner, um, you do need 
uh, an inner white piece behind that DSP piece and um, that's on the inside, that five and a half by three and, uh, and a quarter. Forgot to mention that. That goes behind here. And as long as it fits in there, it really doesn't matter. So you can make it a quarter inch less on each side. So that would be five and a quarter by three or even more, because all you want it to do is fit so that you have your white uh, frame to go ahead and stamp. All right. And so let's go ahead um, and since those are your pieces pretty much, um, I will talk about how I go through this process. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the background and uh, I'm going to use that stamp from the Snowflake Wishes. And it really is a very good stamp. And uh, I know I have to go in further. I think I'm too far away. But anyway, um, so this would be the stamp. The way I do that is I go ahead and take my uh, ink. And I, when I do these, again, when I typically do a video, I use the little stampin' spots because I get less ink all over myself. I'm going to put that on the side just to make sure. And then I just simply use that um, stamp and start stamping around. Now, this one is a beautiful stamp. And, of course, I already made a mistake. That's, that's to be understood. <laughs> but that's okay. I mostly just want to show you the technique here. And so here, again, you're just going to go down. Keep it simple here. Keep on going down. And around th this stamp is really great. You can easily, easily make it work for you. I love this stamp because of that. And it, it's been really handy. But so you go ahead and do that. Now this one um, I did in the Night of Navy background. But, um, and you can do that, but I preferred... Um, I'm sorry, I preferred the, um, the seaside spray because I don't want it to pop up so much. I want it to be a background, but I wanted to show you the technique. So what happens is you go ahead and do this one, then you go ahead and do this panel and this panel. And of course, I have my panel already done for you. All right, so that'll work fairly nicely. I haven't been stamping. I've been on vacation and haven't been stamping for a couple of days. So uh, forgive my uh, idiosyncrasies. So, um, so here, when you do this, you want to fold these in and you want to fold the sides out. The other piece of DSP, you, I mean, the other piece of cardstock, you do not score at all. It is not necessary to score that one at all. And so here, that is just like that. Now, the next thing um, you are going to do is you would go ahead and uh, stamp your, since that is done, and this piece is ready to go, you would go ahead and start stamping out and um, die cutting all of your pieces. And you do need, uh, you know, a bigger piece of cardstock to do that. And so, um, again, I will use the Knight of Navy for this. I do not want tone on tone for this card. I want to show you something different. Just wanted to show you some coloring. And of course, I would simply stamp the snowman on. I only need one snowman. I need twice, two times the tree.
And actually the tree on the one, I don't even need the whole tree because it's behind, um, because it's behind him. So I really don't even need the whole tree. And so here you go. And I'll just put that down there. And then the only other thing I would have to stamp is the snowflake. And I would go ahead and stamp the big snowflake on there, all in the same color. Just go ahead and stamp that on. Go to my magic die cutter and you would have your snowman, you would have your trees, and you would have your snowflake. And these are the pieces that you would actually need. All right, so once that is done, you can, you can, take your uh, piece of scrap and die cut out your snowflakes. And I believe you would need one, two, three, four, yes, four of the snowflakes. There should be one somewhere around here. I'm sure there will be. There he is four snowflakes, so you would die cut four snowflakes. And as you can see with the, with the two pieces, you have two strips of this, you can easily get your four snowflakes from that. Pieces are ready. From, you may also, if you want, and you have enough room, this uh, scrap will cut, all right, the, the stop. It will cut the stop. So you can go ahead and do that as well, all right? So you can cut the stop from that scrap. Again, you will have this uh, five and a quarter by three piece. Uh, that is the largest, you can go smaller. If you like, you'll have at least that. And you will cut out this piece at five and three quarters. And then you will go ahead and die cut that out. So you do have these pieces ready to go on the inside. Now about this and how this works. This is really cool how this works. Uh, maybe a lot of you already know this, I don't know. But here again, now with this, I did use the Knight of Navy. The only time I don't use the Knight of Navy on this card was for the background uh, because I didn't want it to come out too strong. If you want it to come out stronger, you can, of course. So. What I do here is I take my corners and to show you as a practice how this is done because it would take too long to show you. And what you have to do is, what you would have to do is you are going to not tap, all right, but you are going to brush this on. You're going to brush your ink on to your piece, all right? Just brush it on nicely. Make sure you get it everywhere. Then once it's brushed on, you pick it up, and you drop it on your plate. I can tell you, once you drop it on your plate, that's pretty much it. You will not be able 
to go ahead and remove it and replace it. That's why, of course, the magnet is easier. But then you simply place it down, hold it down, and I might just run and see if I can't show you this real quick. See if it works. No. I'm gonna go over here, I'm still here. Just gonna show you how that works. Put it through. Luckily my machine is close by, not too far away. And then look at that, guys. Look at that, isn't that neat? That's how I did those. Isn't that neat? So that's how those are done. It's really cool, it really works well. I'm really thrilled. So obviously we can use that on all kinds of stuff that just embosses from the die cuts. Um, either forgot about it or um, I did not remember in the past about this. Um, or I or I never did know, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so, so these are done. These three, again, is what you need for your panels. And what I am simply going to do is glue these each on my panel. My corners are gonna go here, this is gonna go here, and then this is gonna go here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll flatten that out a little bit. I use my glue a little bit low. It's a little closer. I think I would like that, but I don't think that's going to make it. All right. So glue these on. And I've only been with stamping for about a total of a year and a half total. I'm going to center this. And so my centering skills are not the best. And that clear glue, which seems to be quite helpful and makes it easier for me. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I usually do better than that. <laughs> there you go. The idea is to do one edge, then the rest falls in place. There you go. There you go. There's one. And then there's the third one. So this glue gives me more freedom to move things around. We all know the white one is pretty good, but this is even better. <laughs> of course, we want to make sure that they are level. Yep. Up there. Yep. There you go. They're all even. There you go. There's that. This is really quite um, an easy card because after this, all you're doing is putting it together. Now, what I do is, as I said before, you really don't need that um, snowman, the, the tree um, the whole tree and you can see here right here why because he's sticking out already and you really just don't need the whole tree it's okay for the hand to cross his 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 hand to cross over this crease but nothing should uh, go over this half an inch be very careful with that you want to make sure so here what I do is simply I'm gonna go ahead and take some dimensionals and put my dimensionals on my snowman and on my tree. Put 
to stick up. I don't necessarily need that part to stick up. I might cut that little piece off because I really don't need him and I actually don't want him sticking out. So I cut him off. So this piece will go here and here and here. And then we can off we'll put another one on and there I make sure it's where I want him I want him pretty low on this thing so and then he'll go underneath so something like that making sure not to go over that crease line staying fairly low and going right there and again, it does not matter if you're over on the right side. It's that left side you want to make sure you're not over. I think I want to just go a little bit more over here. There it is. We did uh, die cut um, these snowflakes. I did feel that they added um, a little something to the entire card. I did like it. I did glue them down. So on my first panel, I will go ahead and glue down my first snowflake. Again, I cut four of them and Put him down there, put that snowflake there, and there you go. And your first panel is done. The second panel is the um, large snowflake that you have. It's very easy. Once you get everything cut, of course, you can see here I used some scrap stuff. <laughs> there, I think. There. If I can't, I'll cut that off. No, I did. But I will cut a little piece though, because for those just cutting off edges so that it doesn't go over. And that here, so just cutting some pieces off and putting them on. I'm not a, a big, um, I don't use tons of dimensionals. Put them on there. And so there we go. There's that one. that I never do. lives. They make me nervous. <laughs> okay, so we want this kind of centered. Looks good. And then finally, on your last one, you're going to just have your one tree. Okay. And so you're going to go ahead and put your dimensionals there. But with that one, of course, we're going to have um, two snowflakes on that frame and a snowflake on the middle frame still. And you can decide, of course, where you like that. It's a choice. So 
so we're going to go right here. I like to center that all. That looks fairly centered. Then you can go ahead and put your snowflakes on. And again, with me, um, these on. This scheme, because it carries you through, I like the idea of having the snowflakes because I think it carries you through the picture very nicely. And uh, like the embellishments. There's one. And then I had one on top still. These are gorgeous, aren't they, with that? I love that embossing thing. That was really nice. I don't know if I want to lose that. I think I'm going to do it here this time versus on the right. And that's only because I don't want to lose that. It's so pretty. Okay. So that literally is the front of your card. I did take Wink Estella. And I did Wink Estella my um, snowflake in the middle. Because it colored the edges a little bit. I'm doing the whole thing, which softens it up on the edges, brings it all. Wink a Stella. <laughs> which is really nice. And of course you can wink a Stella this and that. So that's your front, okay? So now what we can do is we can go ahead and glue this and all you want to do for that is go ahead and glue this piece down on the right-hand side. Make sure it's even. The biggest thing, oops, slipped on me. Make sure it's even. There you go. Front. Now, okay, so this is the point where um, you're going to decide eventually where you're going to put this, okay? Because um, if you like it higher, you would put it in further. If you like it um, a little um, not as high, you would push it over. And of course, there's an intermediate. Now, of course, if you push it higher, all right, if you want it really high and you want it really way over here, like there's a half an inch here and a half an inch here, if you do that, remember, you'll have to change the dimensions of that inner piece. So um, that's for sure. All right, so may, be aware of that. All right, that glue didn't stick quite yet. So we got that good. Yeah, we got that good. All right, so now um, to do this so now, before we, we continue, of course, we want to stamp, all right? And so we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiments, all right? And so I will do this piece first. And what I did is thank you, Snow Much. And again, Knight of Navy. And I will be careful when I do this, not like the first one, when I stamp the... Snowflakes. Do 
this. I should use my mat and then I'd be for sure okay. I'm gonna center this, obviously. I'm going to use that little snowflake that I showed you. I did like that snowflake. I knew these two sets would work out so well together. Center this. For me, I'm going to put it pretty close. Mine is pretty close to the edge. And you have to have your dimensionals. And if you look at this one, it really is quite close to the edge. And that's usually how I like it. And what I would do is, you know, you can go ahead and kind of like figure out where you want your, um, where you really want it to be and then put your dimensional. So let's say I want it right here. Well, I could take my pencil and simply mark it right here to here and know that that's where I want my dimensionals, all right? And so that really is that center of this, all right? So what I would do then is I'm gonna take my dimensionals and put them down that center. Because if you don't have that piece, it won't uh, close and, um, or it won't open correctly. It'll close, <laughs> won't open. Okay, we're gonna take those off. And then what we're going to do, like I said, I have that, I centered it right in the center there, so I know that's gonna go there and that's gonna go right there on the edge. I took that right to the edge. And that's okay. There you go. Obviously I can erase that. There you go. Now, the next piece is, see how that looks. Um, the next piece is to put the center in um, and I am going to go ahead and hold this. Now, what you can do um, is you could go ahead, I went ahead and just glue this on and then go ahead and stamp at the very end on there. And we know that's fairly risky. Another thing you could do is obviously, I use glue dots a lot for this from all the packages that I get. Uh, use the glue dot, put a glue dot here and here, then stamp, then glue it on. You can do that, you can do that, but I'm, I'm pretty risky. So what I will do is I will go ahead and just put glue on these edges, just on the edges. That's all I need, the glue right here, right here, right here, on that piece of white cardstock. Then I'm just gonna lay it right down there. Center it. And again, all I'm mostly worried about is that it's the white piece is hidden underneath. Good to go. Yep, that's good. Yep, for some reason that seems a little 
long. So, all right, we all know what to do with this. This is the, it seemed like it was a little longer than it should have been. It's not a big deal, just cut it off. There you go. All right, so now I can go ahead. Now what I can do, of course, is stamp it here. And my sentiment here was, um, may your season uh, sparkle. And so it's all about snowflakes and stuff. So I use that sentiment. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. Little side stuff here that I don't like. So I'll wipe that down just in case it wants to mess up my everything looks otherwise good. I'm going to center it in here now and we can all hope as we know. And yes, <laughs> we made it. All right. Now, uh, you can, um, you know, if, if you really want to, you can put dimensionals on this as well. Um, I do not. I'm going to glue this down. That's just me. So that's going to be glued down. Now, when you do this, you do want to check that it's centered. So I'm closing it and I'm looking down here that it's centered. So I went ahead, again, you close it. It's just lightly on there, so I should, I can still move it so that it's centered, all right? I want that piece centered and that looks pretty centered to me. I'm quite happy with that. And so I'm just gonna close it down. Do that and um, the card is now complete it can open it can go into your um, standard uh, card and see I might have gone a little bit too far over there on this one see might have gone a little too far you have to be careful with that edge and um, otherwise, um, it's all set to go. It's all good. That's all it takes. It's a great card. I really like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I made sense and that um, you might make this card with the class or maybe you might make this card on your own. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, Enjoyed that you are watching me and wish you all well and happy holidays, by the way. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye now.